This is the best tips and tricks I can give you after carefully dissecting every inch of it, speedrunning it, and playing it with random teams. Let's not do a long introduction and jump straight into it. First off, you will need lots of Hydro and a crowd control character. One Hydro is enough but make sure to bring crowd control like Kazua or Venti. Or double Hydro and you can disregard the crowd control character. I do not consider Sucrose so and Jin to be a good crowd control character in this abyss because almost all the enemies will have a weird knockback and are too very heavy for Sucrose's elemental burst. It's better to not use Sucrose elemental burst unless you're running an electric charge team Sucrose, which is also good because it's not a melee team. Second half is just a boss kill chamber. Bring your strongest single target team into that, for example Finn Rational, Hu Tao, Yoimiya, National Team and others. Though the Abyss recommends that we play Quicken Team on the second half, I still have something for you that will eliminate the need for a Quicken Team. 12-1 first half. Enemy will spawn right in front of you, and he has a pyro shield. What I want to do is to kill or interrupt the danger roll first before it lays down its Hashirama powers. Make sure you also hit the shield of Santa Claus. You can start your rotation as you bring down the first wave and hit the second wave immediately. There will be another Santa and you should destroy him ASAP before Christmas. There will also be two dogs and you should not move by a lot. They will be following you so no need to chase them, or it will only get annoying if you do. It's even more annoying if you're using electro melee characters like Raiden or Sino, so I do not recommend them on this chamber. These dogs are very tough, and you will probably not finish them in your first rotation. Now position yourself here, in the location of the third wave. Do your second rotation and pray that these dogs don't go crazy. Assuming you tried hard and fast enough to kill the dogs, the third wave will spawn right in this location. The hot dog and the balls. If you have crowd control, it will be very easy to group them up, but if you don't, you can try this trick. Hit the hot dog first and bring him down to his shield face. Make sure to align his snap back to the other ball behind. Now you can hit the ball and the hot dog together. Few seconds later, the hot dog will drop down a compass. This is the second knockback to the hot dog if you destroy this compass. On this second knockback, make sure you align the hot dog to the other ball so you can hit them next after you kill the first ball. Now just charge up, prepare for the second chamber, and chill for the second half. 12-1 second half. This is the geometrical triangle measuring equipment. I have three ways to defeat this boss. We are forced to play Quicken, so what does Quicken even do? The Quicken reaction can bring down the triangle whenever it goes invisible. Just track it down with a marker like Nahida, Child, Hutao or even debuffs. Then hit it with the Dendro and Electro, and the measuring equipment will instantly need its calibration. This is the easiest way of dealing with this boss, but if you don't have Electro and Dendro, you can try this one. And I call this the timing rotation. You start with your rotation as fast as you can. Deal as much damage as you can before it turns invisible. After it did, you can still track its position by any kind of marker, but it will have massive resistance. So what you want to do is destroy the mechanical parts and it will go back to the center. The triangle is now in the center and still invisible. Use this opportunity to charge up your team and straight into your second rotation. Take note that the auto-targeting will go for the mechanical parts, so go to the opposite side away from it to hit the main triangle for elemental particles. Upon its reveal, you should have already in your main DPS doing damage. And the third way is for tryhards, the trial and error. There are two opening attacks that the triangle will do. One will be the two blades attack, which is the case you want to be in. And the other is the laser summoning turret, which you don't want. Now if you get the two blades attack, it will move towards you and you have to destroy it as fast as you can. The best way is to do all your team's elemental damage over time. Like Kazos Burst, Fentis Burst, Shenha, Diona, all those characters who apply off-field elemental application. The goal is to damage it by applying the fastest elemental damage you have in your arsenal in this split second opportunity. If you do it right, the triangle will not turn invisible and you can continue your DPS window and on to your second rotation. It will again do the invisibility not long after. So this method is only for those who has already a very strong team. I don't recommend this method so just stick to the quicken and timing rotation method. 
12-2 first half. Run immediately back to the stairs and they will follow you. The wheels will charge you to the wall and once they did, you can now use a crowd control character and do your rotation. You can also precast some of your skills while waiting on the stairs. If you have no crowd control, you can just edge bait them continuously especially for the wheel robot. You don't want them charging in random directions. For the second wave, you can stay in the same place and wait for the dolls to come towards you or you just go right into them. You want to wait if you have some skills and burst left in that position, and you don't want to waste it and fight in a different location. But if you have no static buffs like Bennett, you can just chase them down, especially the female doll. It will summon a cryo turret which is quite annoying. Focusing on the female doll and staggering it will prevent the turret summoning. On the third wave, you have to bait the big bot into the two smaller spider bots. Kill the spider bots first because they won't follow you around. You have to do this even if you have crowd control, because the big bot is close to being uncontrollable due to how heavy it is, even for Kazuha. Let it roll toward the spiders, and as you kill the spiders, you also must have damaged the bigger bot. 12-2 second half, quicken the dendrocock. There will be a gauge here that will indicate its rage level. The more quicken reaction it receives, the quicker this gauge feels. When it goes full, the cock will unleash one of the three different strong attacks. One is the Bloom Power Bomb. The cock will prepare and charge up for a big blast of dendro energy. You can dodge it by burst iframe or just simply dash. Then it will go down for a long duration and reduce its own resistance. This is the time you can unleash your rotations uninterrupted. The other attack is the Double Charge. It will go on a straight line towards you for a long distance twice. What I always do is to make it run towards the edge so it won't go to the other side of the arena. But this is very dangerous as this attack is very strong. So prepare some iframes using burst animations to survive. After this double charge, it will go down as fail, feeling tired, resistance down, and your time to finally cook this cock. There's also this technique where you just simply dodge it and wait on the center while it does its first charge. Then it will come back on you to the center for the second charge attack then sleep. The last type of attack is simple 3 strong melee attacks and it will stay in position. Dodge it right and you're still in your buffs and rotation seemingly uninterrupted. Though it moves a lot from your position, just chase it down it's not as annoying as the charge attacks. Before I forget. Full Electro Team can bring down this cage as well because the cock itself applied Dendro to itself when it does some of its attacks. Now if you use Pyro, the gauge will be reduced. It's not required to use a team that is quick and aggravate and spread, any damage type can finish this chamber. Twelve dash three first half, the cancerous chamber. There will be two musketeers at the back and they love to step back like NBA players. You must make them step back into each other and into the wall so they will have lesser space. The two Kairagis will always follow you and they hit like a truck, so be mindful of their attacks. If you have Kazuha or Venti, this will be a piece of cake. But if you don't have crowd control character, you must have a good area of effect damage available in your team. And if not, and your team is just a full single target team, then you're fucked. Remember to always kill the two Kairagi in quick succession, because if you don't, the other one remaining will heal himself and self-infuse an elemental status according to the element, making it hard for swirl setups. Now here comes the hard wave, two hot dogs on opposite sides. The only way to group them is to go to this location at the very edge, so that the other hot dog will come to you for its range attacks. You have to align them like the three of you in one line, and then if you have Kazuha, they can be brought together much closer. You can keep yourself to the edge until you're satisfied with their position, close enough for your combo to both damage them equally. Now when you fight them, stay aligned in one line. Do not go in the middle because when they go to their shield phase, the knockback will just push them in opposite direction. And while in their shield phase, they are ungroupable even if you have 20. The key is to get them down to their shield phase in an aligned manner. Now their attacks will become stronger and will drop their compass. S stay aligned, stay in one line as you destroy the compass. And another knockback will happen and if you're still in a good positioning, they will end up in one place together again. 
Now hit them with all the hydro you've got. This is the reason you need this much hydro characters. The shields are just very tough to destroy. But that hell of a chamber is not the end. You still have this tough chunky boss to deal with. 12-3 second half. You will need a good amount of healing if you want to unga bunga it. This couple will start with their signature move 3 times. Attacking with cryo 3 times and the boy will go skate along the circumference of the arena and do some cryo slashes from afar. And the girl is left in the middle and will do pulses of anemo attacks that will push you back and will be quite annoying for melee characters like Hu Tao. They will repeat these attacks 3 times, then after that, they will become less aggressive and do less powerful attacks. But up until this point, you have just consumed a lot of time already. Probably not enough if you have only 1 minute left in your clock to 3 stars it. So as long as the challenge starts, just head straight up to bed then down. Unga bunga, smash your keyboard, alt f4, gg well played. Having an interruption resistance will greatly help you in this endeavor. You can also hit them with Numa attacks while dancing their signature attack, and Capellia will be stunned for a short period of time. I tried it but if you're using Farina, she starts with Usia, and it will be quite time consuming in the rotation. The stun duration is very short so I think it's not worth to change your Farina to Numa just for this, so just start your whole combo. The last chamber is the toughest one, so you will have to try multiple times. You won't get it in the first try unless your team is really well built and very strong. It's not for that 50 additional prima gems, it's for the sense of accomplishment. The feeling of victory, overcoming the hard challenges. So good luck friends and we'll meet again in the next video. Oh, oh, oh.